Hi guys, Exit Rider. Now I'm just about to have the NC uh, picked up now, the 2021 model. So I just thought I'd run through a quick comparison test of the differences between the two. This is a very, very low budget movie, obviously, because uh, I haven't had time to set up. The bloke is literally just coming now uh, to pick the blue one up. So, uh, so I'm just going to quickly run around with you. Now, bear in mind that I've lowered my suspension on my 2017 model, messed around with the seat to make it more comfortable and uh, put an extra screen on, etc. But just some of the things I wanted to run through with you is the uh, forks there. You can see that they are uh, 30 millimeters lower. And here comes the car. <laughs> this is such a low budget film it's unbelievable um, yeah so you can see the forks there are quite long on mine and then we have a 30 millimeter difference lower on the new NC so that's quite a difference in itself um, it's quite nice having the extra travel to be honest just for peace of mind but it's what it is engine wise it looks much the same uh, we have got the smaller frame now which has shaved off a lot of weight and it makes a huge difference uh, to the new NC that the frame is slightly uh, reduced and set up slightly differently. Um, it feels a lot less top heavy on the 2021 model, much, much better. Daytime uh, indica uh, indicator blinker running lights there, which and they are LED, which I don't get that on mine. So let's go around and have a look at the tail light on my 2017. That's quite flat and uh, like so, and on the on this one it's more snazzy, it's got a nice angle to it. Uh, everything else is pretty much the same apart from the blinkers, the indicators are LED on the new model. Uh, to ride, obviously as we all know now, it's uh, the 2017 is much more dynamic, uh, it shifts better as well, less clunky through the gears. Handlebars are totally different as well, so that's my DCT selector on my 2017. Switch gear and then a start button down here. Oh, utterly different integrated start button. Uh, DCT shifter is much like what I call the Africa Twin style. And uh, it's got the integrated start button as well. Screen, LCD, much, much nicer with all the riding modes. And uh, mine looks very old fashioned. Uh, in comparison, it's well, you can't. Sorry, I haven't got the keys on at the moment, but uh, yeah, it's very basic, it's just got the speed and the rev bar. So, in the fronts, uh, we've got the tank bag connectivity here on the 2017, and on the 2021, we have nothing. Uh, the seat is much better again, I've uh, remolded my seat, so that's that's totally different and uh, a lot more comfortable. Tires are better as well as standard, the Metzler tires as well. Whereas on mine, I've got the battle wings, which are just okay. They're not great. And they're quite noisy, I find, as well. Certainly on the front, they make a lot of road noise. Uh, but essentially, as I say, it's a, they are totally different bikes. And the 2017 is certainly a bigger looking bike. But overall, um, as I say, is it enough for me to change? Probably not at the moment. But it's no doubt about it, the 2021 is a massive improvement. So apologies for the low budget movie here, but I think you get the gist of it and it gets the message across of, uh, of what's what and what I needed to get across to you. It's a funny noise, uh, kids. Um, yeah, but the 2021 definitely looks better. I think that's, uh, I think that's a note. I think that's obvious really. And obviously we've got this little light down the bottom as well on the 2021 and on 2017. It's standard stuff, really, quite normal. So that's the basics of it, folks. Uh, apologies for the uh, low-budget movie again. Um, but like I say, the chap's down there now, ready to pick it up. He's just having his dinner, so I thought I'd get one last video in. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.